I'm finally back. This is the first time I've been to the volcano since about one to two months ago. And this is the longest period I've not gone to the volcano in between trips, I mean. Now I've been getting a lot of questions about if the volcano has stopped yet and what's going on with it. Is it over? Is it going to continue? Now the short answer is uh, yes, it has stopped in a certain way. Lava has not reached surface in, in about one to two months. The activity is of course still going on, but that's not what people are asking about. They're generally asking about if they were to come here, if they would be able to see anything uh, special, any lava flowing, the volcano blowing and such. Now the long answer is a bit more complicated than a short one. Uh, to understand how this volcano functions, we need to understand how the uh, volcanic system that this volcano belongs to also functions. But to start in the beginning, we need to go back 100,000 years ago. The mountain that is called Fardalsfjall, which is what we are currently on, uh, Fardalsfjall has a valley or, or had a valley that went here down. Uh, this volcano has filled that valley up, but that valley is called Geltingadalir. Uh, that's why the name of the volcano was settled on Geltingardalsgos. Uh, Fagradalsfjall is the volcanic system that this volcano belongs to. Now, Fagradalsfjall is a old, very old volcano, and that volcano was formed in the last glacial period. The reason why people can say that this mountain was formed in the last glacial period is because this is a steep-sided flat uh, mountain, which generally means that this is a, a volcano that's called a Tuya. Uh, now this is probably pronounced wrong, but Tuya uh, volcanoes are uh, volcanoes that are flat-headed, so flat on the top, and they are steep-sided. The only way that that happens, in my knowledge, is under a thick ice sheet or a glacier. We know that there are no glaciers on Lake Ness Peninsula. That must mean that uh, this volcano is very old. Now we are all interrupted by the helicopter. Now there are a lot of volcanic system in Iceland, but uh, this volcanic system is uh, located at the Reykjanes Peninsula, uh, as you could have guessed, but there are four other volcanic systems in the Reykjanes Peninsula. Scientists in the beginning have said that they cannot exclude the fact that uh, this volcano might have a chain reaction on the other four systems. The other four systems, some of them reach uh, the capital of Iceland. For that reason, uh, scientists have said that this might be a new volcanic era on this peninsula. Uh, but they, they cannot say for certain. The reason why they say this, and why they can say this, is there is a precedent for this. Thousand years ago is the last known eruption in this area, and that eruption lasted for 400 years. Uh, there was not a one singular volcano that was blown out for 400 years, but it was many different volcanoes and moving around the area constantly, making this kind of like chain effect almost disturbing the, the peace on the other volcanic systems and, and bringing the other mountains or the other volcanoes uh, to life. Now this volcano is not a dangerous one, it's for sure not, it's a tourist volcano, has never been, it's not a very explosive volcano, it has an endless resort of lava but it's blowing it out fairly slowly. The reason why I say this is the next point I'm bringing up is that this uh, could uh, possibly be the start of something much more dangerous for especially the people that live in Reykjavik, which is me included. There's a swimming pool, for example, in my neighborhood. The swimming pool is located two, two minutes walk from my apartment. When the swimming pool went under construction, they decided to change the location of the swimming pool because the first location that they had, uh, the swimming pool was over a fissure old fissure a thousand years ago but that fissure was active uh, in the last volcanic period here in Iceland. That's why I say if it starts moving around, I mean it might do it in 200 years, but if it starts moving around in the next couple of years uh, I'm gonna have a volcano in my backyard.
So now we get into the conclusion of the long answer. Right now, the earthquakes have moved to a mountain called Kaelir, which is just on the other side. It's a lot closer to Reykjavik, so it's moving a bit to Reykjavik. These earthquakes are similar to what happened uh, last year before this volcano erupted. But right now, there is no danger of it erupting anytime soon, at least as we know. But uh, it gives, an, uh, gives us an idea that uh, it might be moving around and, and we can see that the seismic activity is moving a bit more north, which is bad for the capital. So the long answer is this volcano right here behind me might not blow anytime soon or, or again if that. But this volcanic period is probably not over and it, uh, it's probably just starting right now. If we take a second look at the earthquake map, we can see that there are a lot of earthquakes inside and above Vatnajökull glacier. The clusters of earthquakes points uh, here is where a large volcano called Askja is. That volcano above Vatnajökull is a lot bigger than the one that is behind me right now. And scientists got a satellite pictures in September uh, which confirmed that there is a build-up happening of magma inside of the volcano telling us that there is something happening in that volcano. That volcano is a lot bigger than this one, a lot more dangerous, uh, can poison crops and livestock uh, in that general area and that region of Iceland. But that's a story for another time, so maybe I'll tell you that one later.